Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy and another open with me. And this time we have got Inside Crochet. And I have to say, I quite like the look of this. So let's uh, let's have, get rid of the rustly thingy and see what's inside. So while I'm doing that, if you haven't already um, subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And you'll be informed when there are new videos and stuff. Which are, there's quite a bit of stuff. So we've got two bits in here. We've got the magazine and we have this, which is Matt Farsi Oceanarium of Sea Creatures. That looks quite nice. Let's move this so I can show you a little better. I don't know why it's moving a little bit. There we go. Annoys me when it does that for no reason. So, I think it must be on tracking. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, um, Oceanarium of Sea Creatures. Three giant amigurumi toys with easy step-by-step -step instructions, plus win all the yarn to make them. So that's quite nice. Let's have a little look and see what we've got. And here he is. This is the chappy himself. Uh, Matt Farsi. I haven't heard of him before, but introducing Crojo Dot Life with Matt Farsi. So, um, a bit about him. And we've got an enormous octopus, which is kind of cute. So I like that, that's really unusual. To make these giant ones as well, it's quite sweet, isn't it? And we've got a big starfish, very happy starfish. And what's next? Oh. A hammerhead. <laughs> a hammerhead shark. It's so big you can't get the whole of him in. Oh, there he is. He's, he's cool, isn't he? I like it. I really do like them, actually. They are so cool, and I do have a lot of yarn. Now, wouldn't it be a thing if my first amigurumi that I decided to make was giant one? So that's pretty good. I like that. Well, good. Sometimes inside crochet is a little hit and miss, but... I've got a feeling this is going to be a good one because I see, I really like this, I have to say. Um, we've got some corner to corner in here, some crochet cables, the mosaic blanket and a bag that's tapestry. So we've got this uh, Harlequin sweater, Misty Mountain throw, and this is the Chevron beanie. I've made a Chevron beanie once, you know. Colour pop wristies. Silver Beach Birch, sorry, Birch Tote, and the Far Away Cowl, which if I can't really bend the book, so. That's not all. There's a Gingerbread Playhouse. The Jane Crowfoot Cowl, 2021. Right, part of the Mini Makes Masterclass is the, um. So, more of these kind of <laughs> sea creatures, but, and... Oh, he's, he's cute. But this is paintball, so this is just an advert, really. So, moving swiftly on. Here we've got the contents. So, they always have these little pictures, but um, I'm not really keen on them because they're just too small to see in depth what you're actually looking at. So, I usually just ignore them. The first part of this magazine is all the editorials and bits and bobs, and it tells you where you can find these books that they look at and um the bag for portable projects and sort of you know stuff some bits and pieces that you might be interested in and then when you get to the back that's where they have all of the patterns so this is a uh, quick hook gifts so i don't know where you can find those from you know they actually are you have to pay for them so when there are so many free ones, that's really um, a no-no for me. So we've got, there's always a recipe too. And this is smoked aubergine, roasted red peppers and tamarind salad. So um, obviously it's a warming salad. And aubergine, if you didn't know, across the pond is eggplant. So it's a, a smoked eggplant, roasted red peppers and tamarind salad. Sounds quite nice actually, even though it has the S word in it which is salad, and I'm not keen on that word at all, but I don't mind warm ones. It's cold food I'm not really keen on. So, what else we got? More books, Mosaic Crochet Workshop, 
Uh, Esme Crick, David and Charles. I guess that's maybe David and Charles is the publisher, maybe. In UK terminology, it's fifteen ninety nine though. So there's quite a lot. There's the Fruit Garden Crochet Blanket, Jane Crowfoot, twelve ninety five, um from www dot janeycrow dot com, UK terms again. Annie's Crochet Farmhouse Mug Mats, uh US terms, seven ninety nine. Quite a lot for mug mats. Um, Clever Crochet Squares, Maria Goldberg, Trafalgar Square Books, US Terminology, seventeen ninety five. So that's unusual. It's Trafalgar Square Books, which indicates it should be the UK in US terminology. Well, 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 these are cute, aren't they? See, that would be perfect for Mike, my son. He, his first instrument that he ever learned to play, or well, played by ear, really, was the piano. So that would be really cool. <laughs> Little amigurumi for him. So this is how to make the little gingerbread doll's house. Um, obviously, it's out of yarn and not gingerbread. So here we go. It's pretty cool. I like that. That's actually... I like that a lot, you know. Because if you, if you wanted to, you didn't have to make it into a gingerbread house, could you? You could make this into a little Christmas scene you know and put lights around it you know with snow on the bottom no ideas ticking over there so what we've got here jane crow's for indigo dreams blanket now that is really nice isn't it i like that because although it's got a lot going on it's not really over jazzy you know some of them recently the cows in these magazines have been really really busy and i can't my eyes don't want to look at them. They're just too much, too busy. But this is actually nice. We've got these large squares, like the basic granny squares with these motifs, which are quite nice, you know, and it breaks it up. And the colours are good too. I like that. So that's um, obviously an advert by Stylecraft. So maybe you can get it all there. Set special six-month subscription offers to guarantee you receive each part of the cow as it's revealed... Subscribe to either the print or digital editions of Inside Crochet for six months period and save pounds. Okay, so is that their new cow then? I can't see it, can you? What's this then? We're excited to be able to reveal our fabulous new cow designed by the incredibly talented Jane Crowfoot and running over five issues of the magazine. The cows start in the next issue, 141, which is on sale on the 21st of October. Well, there you go. That's cool, isn't it? So that is one cow that I wouldn't mind doing. Pretty nice. I like that a lot. So, adverts, adverts. That's the Mosaic Crochet Workshop. And yarn and colours. So here we've got the bold and bright. Fill your wardrobe. With pattern and texture from our super stylish fashion collection. Well, I was hoping that this wrap was in this magazine. I think it is. This is all now the pictures of what's in the magazine. So we've got pretty unusual garments, I suppose you could say. Now, I don't mind the sleeves. I'd have to make this longer because of the belly. You know, she obviously hasn't got my belly, so... But this one, this is more of a box granny. You know what I call my box granny stitch? So, and then that's quite an interesting little... Some people call them tank tops these days. So here we've got the wristers or uh, fingerless gloves. They're not bad. My, I have a few pairs on my channel now. And I like them to be closed in like this because I always feel if they're gloves, you want them to be warm. Occasionally you can get away with some that are decorative. Like I've got some half wristers, so they come from here to say here and they look really nice on. And I made them with um, red sparkly yarn and it really does look nice. I love wearing them. And they actually do keep you warm, funny enough. So this is a nice cowl. Quite like that, I have to say. I like the cardigan. Um, instantly, I noticed the sleeves are not ridiculous and it's a nice enclosed type cardigan. I like that. They've got some good, good ones in here this this month. They really have. So these are yarn adverts, but they're all over the country. So 
That one's in Hadley, so it's not really... Um, unless I fancy a big old trek out, if I ever get any diesel. Ah, so there we go. Perfect patterns. What's that? What were they calling it? The Misty Mountain Throw. So that's the Misty Mountain. See, they're very jazzy. Very busy, lots going on. But because they've limited the colours, it's not too bad, that one. Wow, now that is jazzy, isn't it? I don't know about that. That might be a little bit... When you see a, a pattern that's really busy like that, sometimes it plays havoc with your eyes. You know, you get a little bit of... Um, what's the word? Sort of optical illusion going on. I think, is this the whole cardigan and pullover? Um, I think it is. That's the Eve cardigan, because it's a wrap-over. I thought it was a jumper at first, but no, it's a wrap-over cardigan. So that's the whole thing. I have to say, though, this one, though. Ah, <laughs> it's a clutch bag. <laughs> oh, it's not the, not the jacket, thank goodness for that. That'd do your eyes in, wouldn't it? So the beanie itself's quite nice. Like the rug. And that's nice too. Very winter warmy. And those colours, aren't they lovely? Lovely wintry colours. It's coming, it's coming, winter's coming. As I used to say in Game of Thrones... Autumn washcloths. Now, over in the UK, we've never really made washcloths. I have to say it's an American thing. Washcloths, dish rags, all those things. Um, but because of the internet and um, all that, I guess we're starting, you know, some people are anyway. Not everyone, obviously. But, you know, it is happening. People are doing it. So here we go. Make it crochet. Your instructions start here. Wow. So here's the jazzy kind of sweater, the Harley Quinn jumper. It's got baggy sleeves. It does have a cuff bringing it all in. And it's quite nice, actually. But it needs to be longer for me. There's the charts. Mm -hmm. Moving swiftly on. They don't like me in these magazines to show the full pattern. So we're going to try and obscure the patterns now. That's the idea behind it. So, um... I don't know if I could wear this, to be honest. Bit squares, I don't know. But there's lots and lots of... You've got all the dimensions, um, all the sizing. And here, at the bottom, got all the sizing, which is pretty cool. But that's that's what it looks like. Bit short for me. As I say, I like it to cover. Now, this is the cardigan. I quite like this, I have to say. I like the sleeves. I feel like they're not overly baggy. You know, sometimes the shaping is... Oh, and the back's really nice. That's the cabling, what they were talking about. And, oh, that's nice. I like that. And we've got all of the, the sizing and everything. So that's pretty cool. Should No problem making that one. Isn't that nice? Look at that. And it's got a little bit of design down the sleeves as well. That's nice. don't know if I make it, but... Wow, there's lots of instructions for that. And this is just an advert. So here we go. Another, this is the tank top. So the back is plain and the front is the jazzy, let's go. It's called the Chevron tank top. And even though our model isn't sylph-like, I still, you know, I still wouldn't. There we go. Out How they are in, hmm, not bad, but... Wouldn't really suit me, I don't think. So this is the ticking wrap. Ticking. Like TikTok. Ticking. Ticking wrap. I like it. I like it a lot. Use linen stitch to create a wonderfully colourful patterns without having to strand yarn across your work. Hmm, very nice. I like that. And there it is. How it looks at the back. It's pretty cool. And more pictures up here. And then you've got this diagram, which I don't know if it's easy to follow or not. I'd have to, that's just an advert. I'd have to kind of look into it. And then we've got the far away cowl. And it actually goes with the hat. There's the little hat. So that's pretty. I like that. And here it is in close up. I like it. It's nice. 
bit of detail. And this is the herringbone brick shawl. It's very nice. I like that. I must say, I did say I like these kind of wintry colours and the little tassels that they've got hanging off it. So that one is one of those that's shaped like this, which I've never done. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily know how to hang it. <laughs> does that make me really uncool? I don't know. But it probably does. This is the Eve cardigan. So as I say, it's just a wrap over. But it's three quarter length sleeves. Now, mostly when it comes to t-shirts, wintry ones, I like three quarter length sleeves. I usually look for them as much as I possibly can, I have to say. And then we've got some charts as well for the decoration. Um, it doesn't really look like much of a chart, does it? <laughs> I mean, what do you do with it? Maybe embroider it. Perhaps it is embroidered on. Looks like it, doesn't it, actually, when you look up here? Look. Yeah, it probably is. Rather than crocheted, it's just an embroidery thing, so. Okay, so then we've got the wristers. The Teeny Pop wrist warmers. Teeny Pop. So they're not bad, actually. The only thing I have to say I don't like about them, and it's this. On mine, if you look at the tutorials for my uh, wristers and my, um, well, what do we call them? Uh, fingerless mittens, fingerless gloves. This part is ribbed and it's not open. So to me, your wrist is your thinnest part and then it comes out. But this looks the opposite way around. It looks like the wrist is the fattest part and then it goes in, which um, I know she's got it further up her arm, but I'm not keen, I have to say, not keen on that. I'd rather it be the way around that I have it where the actual cuff is ribbed in and it's quite a tight rib as well and it does pull out so it and it goes snug back around your wrist again. It doesn't stay open. So it acts like a proper ribbon. And that's what I like. I'm not really keen. So this is a silver birch tote bag. This colourful tote is strong enough to carry all your shopping, yet stylish enough to make you feel effortlessly, effortlessly accessorised. Well, how posh. And she's quite nice. It is, I have to say. And we've got the chart that shows you how to put the colours in. And that's, let's have a look what it looks like from the side, the seam. So these handles, they just look like linen, you know, like sewn on. I've cheated like that before too, <laughs> I have to say. So this is the one I thought <laughs> was this. Well, it did look like it was maybe crochet, but it's not, it's the bag. <laughs> How funny is that? It's like an envelope actually. Quite a simple design. But pretty. Autumn washcloths. Like I say, um, not something that we've ever done in this country normally, but they look huge for washcloths, don't they? They look like what you stand on. But yeah, washcloths. And then over this side, the chevron hat. And that matches that cowl. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Whether it was intended, I don't know, but it's a... Nice little chevron, and it's a small pattern. I don't like row after row of UK trebles, as you know, which is a double crochet in the US, so that's not bad. So next month, the gift of giving. I think I'm a bit zoomed in. Let's come out. The gift of giving, then. Make beautiful accessories for special friends. Hook gorgeous heirloom toys to love and get ahead on fun Christmas decorations. Some of us are already trying. And um, there's some mittens. Part one of the Indigo Dreams Crochet Along, only available on Inside Crochet. I think that's a bit of a scoop, I have to say. That is a really, really nice, if I can find it, at a glance. Should be able to, it's massive. That is a scoop, because that is going to be extremely, not that one, here we go. Extremely popular, I believe. Um, and, oh, I've lost my page. <laughs> Clever girl, Trace. Clever girl. I wonder where that was. We've done the bag. The bag. There we go. So, yeah, I think that's a scoop, don't you? 
because it's you know Jane Crow's Crowfoot. I want to say crow's foot, but Crowfoot's blanket. Nice. And um, as it's um, exclusive to them, I think that is going to be a bit of a triumph for Inside Crochet. They've, I think they've needed a triumph because they have I don't feel like they always hit the spot. But with that going on, you know. Now we've got a cushion, M Emmy's cushion. It looks kind of tatty. I like that. It's like a... Like it's been around the cut, you know, <laughs> been around the house a bit. <laughs> Maybe it's just the yarn that's been used. I don't know, and the textures, but that's that's quite interesting. Excuse me. Back issues. Should you want them? Um, more adverts, and then we've got the round rag rug. The round rag rug. It's always cool to start doing a going around. I like going in around. Some things may have changed, but your local shan shot more oh, such an advert. So the misty mountain throw. This is the big chart. So how to achieve that kind of look? So like the the triangle that's here is now here. It's kind of sweet. I like that. Not overly busy. It's busy, but not overly. And we've got the rainbow jumper. I'm not sure what I think of that. The sleeves are a bit um, baggy. They come together at the cuff, but they're still still a bit baggy. I feel like there should be more shaping in that, for my liking anyway. And how to crochet bits. Here we go. The basics, getting started and the main stitches. Trebles and shaping and increasing and tension. All the usual abbreviations working in the round hook sizes and stuff and there you go what do you think of that i actually thought that was pretty cool pretty cool so flower of life poof and blanket by mark roseboom and i guess you get that through sheepies.com that is gorgeous isn't it that is really nice lovely colors so it kind of reminds me of um you know places like um persia like a persian rug sort of thing that's nice very very nice well i have to say for once inside crochet has really hit it at the park i quite like this and um, this supplement as well with the giant amigurumis pretty cool so what do you think not a bad one so as I said before, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll be informed when there are new videos. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.